एवरीवन नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स प्लीज लिसन टू दिस क्वेश्चन वेरी वेल इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टोटल सरफेस एरिया ऑफ अ हॉलो सिलेंडर विच इज ओपन फ्रॉम बोथ साइड्स इट्स फोर सिक्स टू जीरो सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेयर एरिया ऑफ बेस रिंग इज वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन पॉइंट फाइव स्क्वेयर सेंटीमीटर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेयर एंड हाइट इज सेवन सेंटीमीटर फाइन द थिकनेस ऑफ द सिलेंडर सो वी हैव वन हॉलो सिलेंडर दिस इज द हॉलो सिलेंडर एंड दिस पार्ट इज बेस रिंग see first base ring is this okay this uh, is the base ring and this is also the base ring and we need to find the thickness height is 7 theek okay? hai so first of all total surface area is given to us as 4620 cm square right after that area of base ring is equal to 115.5 cm square height is 7 find the thickness of the cylinder so first of all let's see what is the total surface area made up of first of all it is equal to the curved surface area this we can see curved surface area plus area of two base rings uh we can also see the inter interior curved surface area this area we can also see this is the outer curved surface area and second curved surface area is for inner plus we can see two base uh, two rings so the area of rings is basically equal to pi r square minus pi r square so basically it would be 2 pi r square minus r square right this would be the basic meaning for this so this we can see and it's co it constitutes the total surface area now we would put all the values so outer curved surface area would be 2 pi rh the outer radius is capital r and inner radius is small r plus 2 into uh, 2 pi r square minus r square is equal to total surface 4620 now this thing we need to take now we can take 2 pi uh, 2 pi h common from here r plus r would be in the bracket we have taken it as common now if we see let's write it as 2 pi r square minus pi r square see this is the outer radius this would it would be uh, this would be the outer and this would be the inner radius right so if we subtract this we are already given that 115.5 cm is the area of the base ring area of the base ring is 115 so we would put the value here okay in the next step we would put the value this would remain same Plus two into one hundred fifteen point five. We are multiplying it by two because there are two rings like this, and the area of one ring is given to us. So two we can find. So two pi h r plus r would plus two into one hundred fifteen. Uh, it would be two thirty. Now let's subtract it. Four six two zero minus. Two thirty, so it would be basically equal to four three eight nine two pi h r plus r. Now we know that height is seven centimeter, so putting the value seven r plus r is equal to four three eight nine. The value of seven is put here now, and if seven goes there, it would be divided two pi r plus r would be equal to four three eight nine divided by seven. That would be three hundred thirteen point. Five, right? It was actually divided by fourteen because seven into two is fourteen. So three, uh, so pi r plus r would be equal to three hundred thirteen point five. This is our equation number one. Now let's move on to equation number two. See, we knew that pi r square minus pi r square was one hundred fifteen point five centimeter. This we knew, right? Uh, because it was given to us that the area of the base ring th see this is the main ring this is the second and this area is the base ring right this is a thing so its area was 115.5 now if we uh, see pi is common r square minus r square would be 115.5 now r square minus r square see it would be and it identity r plus r r minus r is equal to 115.5 right now if we derive the th 
think if we find the value of pi r plus r from here one it would be 1 and 15.5 divided by r minus r so it means this is our equation number second if we see equation one and equation two here both right hand sides are equal to this and this it means uh, right hand sides would be equal to each other three uh, so here we would write from equation one and equation two 313.5 would be equal to 115.5 r minus r so here this would go there 313.5 r minus r 115.5 and r minus r would be 115.5 divided by 313.5 and if we see what is r minus r if we subtract this from this we would get the thickness right we would get the thickness uh, what was required uh, to us so r minus r when we calculate it it would be 7 by 19 centimeter r minus r is basically the thickness which was required for us